I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and I'm here today to point out some common misconceptions when putting the continental trim on your poodle. So I give seminars all around the world and I have premium content on leadingedgedogshowacademy.com and some of the most common questions I get about the continental trim are this. So when we're setting in the neckline on our poodle, I often get asked if the lowest point of where you shave should be at the end of the dog's nose. And it gets demonstrated to me this way. People take their dog's nose and they push it down to their neck. And as they get it down, they think that the lowest part of the clipper work should be about here. So I'm going to say that this is a misconception that that is not where we choose to put this line. I like to choose it by having this line as long as possible and I'm going to run my finger down the dog's neckline and as it comes down where it starts to curve into the body is where I'm going to stop the shaved portion of the neck. I'm not going to let it come so far down that we have this big curve of the neck getting into the chest. So that's our first misconception is how to set this line. The second most common misconception is that the back line of the jacket, which is right here, is going to end at the last rib. So here on the lovely Swanky, her last rib is right here. So I'm going to mark it with my comb. The last rib is right here. So we could see how out of balance the trim would be if her jacket indeed did end there. We choose where the back line of the jacket is based on the structure of our dog. If your dog's jacket does end at the last rib, that could happen, but that is just a fluke of anatomy and the balance that you want in the trim. The last rib is in no way an indicator of where the back line of the jacket should be. So that's our second common misconception. And the third one that I wanna to talk to you about today is the placement of the hip rosette. So the hip rosette, I have been told, um, can be oblong, um, either this way or this way. And I think that is a misconception. The rosette is always a round circle. If we make it oblong in any way, we are either making our dog look longer backed or out of proportion if we're making the oblong this way. As well, some people think that the rosette should be circled around the hip bone. And again, here is Swanky's hip bone right here. So you can imagine if the circle was over here, how out of proportion her trim would look. The last thing I wanna say about the hip rosette is that the bottom area where we shave the tail should never be much higher than the top of the rosette. So it can be a little bit lower than the top of the rosette. So if here's the top of the rosette, we never wanna shave her tail so that the shaved part is above that line. So the next time you go to put a continental on a poodle or you're thinking about it, just remember that these are common misconceptions that we see in the poodle world, but in fact, they are not true. And you can re refer to our premium content to get more information on the continental trim. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and share it. Leave us a comment below and subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. You can hit the bell as well to not miss a single video that we put out for you.